Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're learning cloud security or prepping for an interview, today's topic is absolutely essential. Fundamentals of Azure Intraid. We'll break down what Intraid is, how it differs from traditional Active Directory, and dive into users, groups, dynamic memberships, and more, explained in a simple, practical way. Stay till the end for a bonus tip that most admins miss. Let's go. The first and obvious question that we have, what is Azure Intraid? Answer. Azure Intraid is Microsoft's cloud-based identity and access management solution. It lets users securely sign in and access internal and external resources, like Microsoft 365, Azure Services, and thousands of SaaS apps. Think of it as the identity backbone of your cloud ecosystem. The second question we have. Difference between Azure Intraid and Active Directory. Answer. Great question. While they sound similar, they serve different purposes. Azure Ad is cloud-based, Ad is on-premises. Azure Ad supports web apps and SaaS logins using modern protocols like SAML, OAuth. The next is. What is a tenant in Azure Intraid? Answer. A tenant is a dedicated and isolated instance of Azure AD that represents your organization. Every Microsoft cloud service, like Microsoft 365 or Azure, uses this tenant. The next is. What is a directory in Azure Intra? Answer. A directory is the logical container within your tenant that holds users, groups, devices, and applications. Think of the tenant as the company and the directory as the identity database. The next is. Can one Azure subscription be linked to multiple tenants? Answer. No. An Azure subscription is always associated with a single tenant. You can switch tenants, but you can't link one subscription to multiple tenants at the same time. The next is. What are the types of users in Azure Intra ID? Answer, there are two main types. Member users, internal employees. Guest users, external collaborators, via B2B. Example, vendors or partners logging in with their own Microsoft or Gmail accounts. This helps organizations manage both internal staff and external users securely. The next is, what is a group in Azure Enter ID? Answer, a group is a collection of users or devices used to simplify access management. You assign permissions to the group, not to each user. For example, assign the HR SharePoint site to the HR group, and all members get access automatically. The next is, what types of groups are supported in Azure Enter ID? Answer, security groups, control access to resources. Microsoft 365 groups, used with tools like Teams, SharePoint, Planner. Dynamic groups, auto membership based on user slash device rules. The next is, what is a dynamic group? Answer, a group is a collection of users or devices used to simplify access management. You assign permissions to the group, not to each user. For example, assign the HR SharePoint site to the HR group and all members get access automatically. The next is, difference between assigned and dynamic groups? Answer, assigned group, membership is added manually. Dynamic group, membership is controlled by rules. This reduces admin overhead and helps scale access policy smartly. To wrap up, Azure Entra ID helps you manage identities in the cloud. Whether you're assigning access, enabling B2B collaboration, or using dynamic groups, it's designed for secure, modern access. Always enable MFA, multi-factor authentication, for all users, especially guest users. It's your first line of defense in identity security. If this video helped you understand Azure Entra ID, make sure to hit like, drop your questions in the comments, and subscribe for more cloud and identity videos every week. Thanks for watching. Stay secure, stay curious.